Hi, my name is Tamar Tadmor and I'm an MD and an assistant professor in the hematology division in Bnei Zion Medical Center, which is affiliated to the medical school of the Technion in Haifa. I'm here to discuss our work entitled Absolute Monocytes Count, or AMC, and Lymphocytes to Monocytes Ratio, or LMR, predict outcome in patients with nodular sclerosis Hodgkin lymphoma. An evaluation based on data from 1,450 patients. Our study will be published in the upcoming June issue of the Mayo Clinic Procedure. This study is a multi-center study and a collaboration between Israel and Italy where we had two sites in Israel and 38 sites from Italy which were part of the Gruppo Italiano di Lymphomi. The, the collaboration initiated with the uh, Division of Hematology in Modena with Professor Stefano Sacchi and Professor Massimo Federico who lead that team. We had a previous work together where we identified that absolute monocytes count and lymphocytes to monocyte ratio can predict pro prognosis in other malignancies and in particular in non-Hodgkin lymphoma. The reason for performing the study was based on the need to stratify better patients with Hodgkin lymphoma. We are currently using the International Prognostic Score, or IPS, to stratify patients with advanced Hodgkin lymphoma. And we were looking for a simple and applicable parameter which can be used both for early stage as well as for advanced stage patients with Hodgkin lymphoma. The use of monocytes as a prognostic parameters seems to be even more reasonable for patients with Hodgkin lymphoma, and this is based on studies which involved immunohistochemical analysis and gene arrays studies, which identified that tumor-associated macrophages and monocytes predict worse outcome in patients with Hodgkin lymphoma, and in particular in, Hodgkin, in patients with nodular sclerosis histology. In our cohort, we had 1,450 patients. The median age of our patient was 33 years old, and 70% of our cohort included patients with nodular sclerosis histology. Our median follow-up for the entire cohort was 87 months. The best cutoff value for monocytes was calculated based on a rock analysis for progression-free survival at five years and was identified to be 750. For the best cutoff value for lymphocytes, we used, as defined on, in the IPS, lymphopenia, as number of lymphocytes below 600. We then identified what is the best cutoff value for lymphocytes to monocytes ratio, or LMR, and we tested several LMR values based on the value available in the literature, and we have identified, again, based on rock analysis, on follow-up for progression-free survival for five years, that the best cutoff value resulted to be 2.1. On our results, monocytes higher than 750 had a worse prognosis and the 10 years progression-free survival was 65 compared to 81% for patients with lower number of monocytes. This resulted to be relevant also in terms of overall survival when patients with relative monocytosis had a 10-year survival of 78% compared to 88% for patients 
with monocyte count less, less than 750 at diagnosis. This resulted to be even more significant for patients with nodular sclerosis histology, both using univariant as well as multivariant analysis. A lower lymphocyte to monocyte ratio resulted to be also an adverse prognostic parameter and it was associated with the well-known negative prognostic parameters as albumin below 4, hemoglobin below 10.5, leukocytosis, advanced stage or elevated IPS. We believe that monocytes and their total number as reflected by absolute monocyte count in the peripheral blood may be regarded as a surrogate biomarker of tumor associated macrophages within the tumor tissue microenvironment where a gene signature of tumor associated macrophages is reported to be significant associated with primary treatment failure in patients with Hodgkin. In our perspective the parameter of LMR or lymphocytes to monocyte ratio not only correlated with host immunity and tumor microenvironment but may also serve indirectly as a me measurement of tumor growth and the total number volume. We encourage other groups to validate our results, to pay attention to peripheral blood monocytes and lymphocytes to monocyte ratio when treating new patients with classical Hodgkin lymphoma. And I thank you for the attention. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.